In this video we're going to use PEMDAS and then add the integers. So we'll do I'll do this example and then hopefully you can do this example. So when you look at that you might be tempted to add the first two numbers together to begin with but tell me what would be wrong about that. Could we add this the negative two and the four together? Would that be correct? Why or why not? Right? So we always got to think about the order of operations PEMDAS. Always got to think about PEMDAS when you're calculating something. Okay? So you got to do parentheses first. Okay? So, got to do parentheses first. The negative 8 plus 11. So, 8 negatives, 11 positives. Add them together. What do you get? 8 bad guys, 11 good guys. Right? So just add these together and put it in the parentheses, right? So that's positive three, three good guys, right? And then just write out the whole problem all over again. Okay? So now we have two operations going on here. We have addition and we have multiplication. Which one do we do first? Right? No exponents, by the way. But we do multiply, right? And then we add, right? So we got to multiply first and then add. Right? So 4 times 3, 12. And then plus negative 2. So negative 2 plus 12. Two bad guys, 12 good guys. A, a bill, a debt of $2 plus $12 cash. How much money is that? $10, right? always make sure you don't use a calculator waste the time to, to do this with a calculator you might as well not do it at all okay press pause and try this one yourself and then I'll do it okay so you might be tempted to add the negative 13 and the 3 but that would not be right because we have to follow the order of operations we gotta follow PEMDAS got to do parentheses first. Negative 19 plus 23. That has to be done first, right? So it's a make a debt of $19 and $23 cash. Put it together and you have $4 cash, right? Now, we've you might be tempted to add them again, but we got to follow PEMDAS because you've got to multiply and then add, right? 4 times 3, 12, negative 13 plus 12, 13 negatives and 12 positives. Put them together, what do you get? 13 bad guys and 12 good guys. One bad guy, right? 